Hello, 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 my dear learners. We are in lesson two, three. Chapter two, lesson three, parallel lines and triangle, angle sums. So what is the lesson essential question? What is true about the interior and exterior angle measures of a triangle? What I can do when I learn this lesson is to solve problems using the measures of interior and exterior angle of a triangle. We have so many examples, so many theorems that we will go through. Let's see the first one here. What is uh, the reason two parallel lines never intersect, but can two lines that intersect ever be parallel to the same line? How is that done? We will see. Drag the points to rotate C here. It's labeled. I will be able to rotate C. We'll do this example in class and we will understand it. Truly. Example with conceptual understanding to investigate the measures of triangle angles. I bet that by now all of you knows that the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So as you can see here, the angle of a triangle is always add up to 180. It's like here. See how they are related? This angle one here is plotted here. Angle three is here and angle two is here. So you can change as much as you like. They will always add to 180. Theorem 210. Through a point, not on a line, there is one and only one line parallel to the given line. So through that point, I can only plot one line. This is common sense, but it has to be stated in a theory. Here, we're talking about triangle, angle, sum theory. As I told you before, the angles measures 180. The sum of the angles of a triangle will always measure or add up to 180. Look here, this is, I'm changing it into numbers that you can easily comprehend. 130, and this is 130, this is and this is, let's say, 100. Okay, so this is 100, this is 38, and this is 43. So they add up to, yeah. Correct, 100. We'll do examples to prove the triangle sum theory. Many, many examples. How to use it in finding the missing value here. You know by now how algebra is connected to geometry. Now, this is the new thing, triangle, exterior angle. <clears throat> the exterior angle here is always equal to the sum of the remote interior angle. It's not the one beside it, but the other two. If you add these two together, you will add this angle. You will get this angle. So always the exterior angle is equal to the sum of remote and focus on the word remote interior angles. We have the summary at the end, and as usual, lots and lots of practicing problems here that we will solve to verify our understanding. So be ready for our lesson. It's an easy lesson. You can easily uh, solve it. I know that you're smart, you're intelligent, and I wish you all the best. Have a good day. Bye-bye.